In this video, we'll try to see how I can convert the, uh, the resistance of the thermistor into the temperature that is measuring. As I mentioned in the previous video, that the thermistor basically changes the temperature into a resistance. So what I detect is a resistance. When there is a change in the temperature, this is reflected as a change in the resistance. But how I can go back? This is what we will try to, uh, to explore together here. Now, this is the thermistor I have in the previous video. As you can hear, the uh, resistance is around 11.14 uh, kilo ohm. So to be able to do that, we need to check the data sheet. So it's very important for you is always, when you when you, whenever you are using a sensor, is to find its data sheet and trying to understand the uh, different parameters related to the sensor. So I will share now the file with you. So if you go up here, uh, so this is uh, the, some description about about the, uh, the the sensor here, and it is an NTC sensor. NTC means that it's negative temperature coefficient. We mentioned that, meaning that as we increase the uh, temperature, the resistance will start to uh, decrease. And the part number here is M. F52. Also, it's very important to, uh, to know the part number so that you can find the data sheet and understand the specification. Here some of the uh, applications of the sensor like air conditioners, heating, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, what is important for us, scroll down here, this is about the dimension of the sensor, and this is the table that we are interested in. Okay. Now, in this table, what we have here, in the top row here, we have 10 kilo, 50 kilo, 100 kilo, and so on and so forth. What does this mean? This is the resistance of the thermistor at 25 degrees centigrade. So in this uh, column, you will have this is the temperature. This is the different temperature from minus from minus 30 until you reach to 110. And then you will find different values of the resistance. These are different resistance value under the 10 kilo, the 50 kilo. So these are different models of the MF52 type. And this resistance, the 10 kilo ohm, is the resistance at the 25. So if you come here at the 25 degrees centigrade, it is 10 kilo, 10 kilo ohm. Now the 50 kilo ohm, at the same temperature, it will become equal to 50 kilo, kilo ohm resistance. So this corresponds to the uh, resistance of the sensor at the 25 degrees centigrade. Now, back to our sensor, it was the, the resistance was 11.1 uh, or 2 kilo ohm. So it's basically this sensor, and the resistance is between 12.51 and the t 10 kilo ohm. So it's something in between. So the uh, actual temperature is between the 20 and the 25, and I mentioned it was around 23, so this makes a lot of sense. So now, so now when you heat up the uh, thermistor, you will have a different resistance. So you need to find where is this resistance here and find its corresponding, uh, corresponding uh, temperature. 